The U.S. Supreme Court has agreed to review whether former President Donald Trump has immunity from prosecution in the special counsel's federal election interference case, an election year dispute that will have blockbuster legal and political implications for the nation. The justices have fast-tracked the appeal and will hear oral arguments in late April with a ruling on the merits expected by late June. Trump's criminal trial has been put on hold pending resolution of the matter. Watch the Fox News report. <laughs> The presidential election year is just days away, and what will likely impact voters the most might not happen on the campaign trail, but in the courts. Correspondent David Spunt is in Washington with the latest. Former President Donald Trump making a late Saturday pitch to a federal appeals court, hoping the judges will throw out charges relating to attempts to overturn the 2020 presidential election. In the filing, Trump's team calls his criminal indictment unlawful and unconstitutional, writing President Trump has absolute immunity from prosecution for his official acts as president. The indictment alleges only official acts, so it must be dismissed. The filing comes a day after the U.S. Supreme Court declined to fast-track the case, a temporary blow for special counsel Jack Smith, who wants to take Trump to trial on March 4th, one day before Super Tuesday. That date is expected to slide. His strategy is to run out the clock. Trump's former attorney general Bill Barr tells Fox News that absolute immunity may not extend to the former president. What was the function he was performing when he was doing these things after the election? And uh, the government's position is going to be that he was a candidate. He was acting as a candidate, not really as president. It's one of four state and federal prosecutions Trump faces, with possible trials in the middle of the election season. His successor also taking a swipe over the weekend. Legal challenges also plague the Biden family, as the president's son prepares for next month's arraignment on federal tax charges, including three felonies. Hunter Biden also faces felony gun charges in Delaware. The president faces a separate special counsel investigation into his handling of classified documents while vice president.